Duck All Content. What's going on? We are back with another Scotch episode. You know, the hats, although this guy's a suspect. Zoom in. Zoom in, Kenny. Yeah, he's a suspect. We don't trust him. He's an American. Dude, you're a suspect. We're representing the Scotch here with our hats. Uh, but before we get into it, who are we drinking with? Suspect number one, we got Ryan. I plead the fifth. Yeah, and trustworthy hat man number two, we got Rick. Yes. Exactly, and hat, hat man three, you got me, Austin. So, boys, I see a name that probably a lot of people have heard. Tell me the deets. What's yeah. the deets on this? This is the Glenn Fittich, uh, 12 year Amontillado sherry cask finish. Now, that sounds that's like a lot of words. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot going on. So, Glenn Fittich is one of the most popular scotch brands single malt scotch they usually like their regular 12 years pretty inexpensive so that's what a lot of people probably yeah. buy um they do really fun stuff this one is aged in american and european oak casks that were sherry barrels right okay so just like the generic sherry barrel yeah uh and then Finished in Amontillado sherry cask, which Amontillado is a very specific kind of sherry uh, that is pretty cool. I like Amontillado sherry. It's on the a little bit drier side. It's not as sweet as like your Oloroso or your Pedro Jimenez sherry barrels, but it still has that kind of like hazelnut, uh, like nutty amber sweetness to it. Uh, and part of the reason is that when they make Amontillado sherry, they have two different kinds of, uh, like aging. They have a layer of yeast on the top called the floor F L O R not floor, like yeah. down on the floor. Uh, and then when all of that yeast is spent, then they let it oxidize a little bit. So it like actually it gets rusty. Yeah, it gets a little rusty. <laughs> Actually, yeah. <laughs> and so then it gets a little more like nutty, Hence darker, the color. Yeah. Yeah, auburn, <laughs> like hazelnut. Um, and so Amontillado is about as dry as I like to go when actually trying sherry. Because anything drier like Fino sherry or Manzanilla can sometimes taste like uh, urine. Oh, yeah. Here, here. But Amontillado, I've never had that. Amontillado is pretty nice. So this is finished in You've Amontillado. You've had Amontillado. You've never had the urine. the urine flavor with Amontillado, right? That's what you're saying? Correct. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I've had Fino Sherry, and I've been like, this is gravel and cat pee. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> I've had Amontillado Sherry, and it's like, oh, this is delicious. Okay. Yeah. And I, I bl- isn't that from, like, the Andalusia re- region of Spain, the Amontillado? I think so. Whatever you say. I think so. And a loser. I think you're and I barely know her. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I tried to add two cents to just get ripped apart. So, so yeah, the, the Amontillado thing is clearly kind of the gimmick with this bottle because it's finished in, so it's not like it's been in that the whole time. But it is kind of cool. You don't see a lot of Amontillado sherry okay. in scotch. But just um, finished so, in that. Yes. Yeah. So now I'm going to swoop in to bourbon drinkers, right? Because this is a single malt scotch for sure. This could be, for starters, approachable if you've not, you're not really a scotch drinker, but you like bourbon a lot. Could be approachable. And the most approachable thing I'm going to tell you right now, it's aged 12 years. So think of that in bourbon for bourbon. Don't mind if I do. You're going to be spending a fair amount, right, for it. This is aged 12 years, and it's 50 bucks. It's 50 bucks. It's a good yeah. price. Now, Proof wise, we're, scotch is, I mean, they're, they do have barrel proof scotch or whatever cast proof scotch, but this is 86 proof. So scotch tends to be 80, 86, 92 type proof, the traditional scotch or whatever. So this is 86 proof, but it's going to have the sherry influence. So it's going to be super approachable, especially if you like fruit notes and yeah. things like that. In On the bourbon. nose, I'm definitely getting a lot of that fruit. Yeah. Soft, fruits. honey, more honey sweetness. Honey, less yeah. on the caramel, more on the honey. Uh, the fruit come, the sherry comes through for yeah. sure. I, I'm getting like a peach, the peach pit. Really? See, I'm like all, I'm like all in on Welch's fruit snacks, like the dark ones. What? Dark ones. Yeah. 
Mm. With a little I'm bit of getting butter hazelnut. On. I'm getting hazelnut. I'm getting... I mean, that's kind of the Amontillado. Peach what, pit fruit. What kind of scotch does Glen Fittich make? Like, what? what's the region? At Speyside. Oh, it's Speyside. Speyside. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Highlands, the River Spey runs through the Highlands, and yeah. so they can legally call it Highlands or Speyside. I believe Glen Fittich likes to say Speyside. Yeah. And Speyside, it generally, as far as scotches go, tend to be more approachable, fruitier, nicer, more mellow, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. I will also say for the brand Glen Fittich, their regular 12 year, which is inexpensive, is not my favorite. It's kind of okay for a just a cheap 12 year single malt. But once you start getting into the Glen Fittich, like interesting bottles that they're putting out. They start doing really fun stuff, and they clearly have, like, a master distiller that knows what they're doing. Yeah. And I don't know their name off the top of my head, but they are awesome. So, I've tasted it. My first impression is, I'll give you my, my thought process here. The first thing that came to my mind was, this is really weak. And then, all of a sudden, it opens up into hazelnut. Like it's a nutty mm-hmm. weakness, mm-hmm. praline, and then it finishes really light, but it's leaves a little bit of film on your tongue. Mm-hmm. But with how light it is, and then the the hazelnut sweetness and stuff, this is a really. At first, I was like, I don't know if I like this, and then it's like, oh, this is delicate and complex. Yeah, it's subtle for it's sure. It's Subtle, nuanced, subtle a little bit. Yeah, it's a. Uh, I was, it was interesting. I'm tr- still trying to figure out what's going on, but uh, I can definitely see why this is a nicer bottle. Compa- because I, at first I was like, wow, this is just normal Space Hide scotch, which I'm not a huge fan of just basic Space Hides. That's just me. It's not my type of scotch. Which would be their regular 12 Exactly. Year. Yeah. This is, this is interesting, but strangely light. I could, I could just throw, I could throw a couple of these back. Mm-hmm. instantly agreed part of that's the proof part of that is it is light it's yeah. not having any heavy caramels or whatever it's it's going to be honeyed fruity yeah. a little fruity i get a lot of hazelnut which i like a lot yeah it's approachable mm-hmm. and i would say here's the thing what i think with this is that i don't think any person that really enjoys scotch and is in, like knows their scotch and stuff like that if you were to serve this to them I don't think they'd kick you out. I think they'd go, okay, I mean, this might not be my favorite, but it's good enough that they'd go, okay, this is, this is doable. But I think it's the finish in the yes. Amontillado uh, cherry cast that, that sort of put this over the know, top, over the, you know, yeah. a level, a level above for sure. Yep. Again, 50 bucks, 12 years. Think of that for bourbon. These days for single malt scotch, yeah. 50 bucks is pretty freaking yeah. good. Yeah. When you have most things starting at like 80 to 100, it's not bad. This is for weirdly saying this is a budget bottle. <laughs> but it's it's a little strange for me. It's just this type of if you're into space side, which I'm like like I said before, I'm not and so this is like it's hard for me. I like this, but I don't know if I would spend $50 on this. Understood. I would bump it up to Wee Beast. I mean, I'm an Isla. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, through no, through, I, no, no, right? no. Don't, don't. Yes. Like I would take Wee Beastie over this, whatever. But I'm not. No, and this, they're and very this is different. Not smoky. No, mm. this is very different. It's just for me, my palate. Oh, this is nice. Personally, am I going to buy this? No. Yeah, that's it's, fair. It's yes. I, I mean, yes. I, uh, you. I mean, I like. I. We all like Isla. Yeah. You know, smoky scotch and things like and that. I can appreciate space. But, like even now, like going back to the nose. The nose is much more heavy it actually has like I get some vapors. cocoa it's like there's a little cocoa on it yeah the nose is much thicker than it used to be but yeah um for me you know just like for people who watch this show who know my palate or whatever this is kind of like this is interesting to taste but it's always kind of interesting with like space side i i have the space side value to me is a hard thing to sure. balance yeah yep yeah. i for, i would argue that this probably because i'm american but <laughs> i mean Fair enough. I would argue that this is nice because I could see myself giving this 
to yeah, a lot of people sure. to try. There you go. I don't disagree like, with that. There you especially go. so many people that have scotch that only have had like Johnny Walker or mm-hmm. something yes. or something smoky. It's like, hold on, try a little bit of this. And they're going to be like, oh, okay. This is a little sweeter, a little more fruity, not super smoky. This is kind of just easy and nice. It is. And I wouldn't even call this a, a complete sherry bomb. No, it's not a sherry it's bomb. It's not a sherry bomb. No. But there's definitely that sherry influences it with the hazel, hazelnut, the cocoa, the, the fruit, the fruit stuff's going mm-hmm. on. Well, what's Old Pulteney? What kind of whiskey is that? That's single malt scotch, but it's, it's, it's on the... It's right. It's on the northern coast of Scotland, so you have yeah. a lot of salty, briny yeah. sea air type stuff. Yeah. And yeah. the twelve year is just bourbon barreled and like briny. Yeah, for popcorn, sure. Popcorn, kind of fun. And then the fifteen year is like a sherry bomb. Yeah. This is exactly what Ryan said, in my opinion. Having this on hand for somebody that like wants to try some scotch or not sure or whatever, it's totally approachable. Is this something I'm gonna personally reach for a million times? No. Yeah. No. As, like I think that's kind of what I'm having trouble with is, you know, you guys know me. I'm all about the experience. Yes. And I'm I'm the experience is more of the surprise at the nutty flavor and how delicate it was. Yeah. It's not necessarily like the whole flavor. Yep. And on that note, I would love to have this in a lineup where we have like an Amontillado sherry, For an Oloroso sure. sherry, a Pedro Jimenez sherry, and then these kind of bottles yeah. where it's like, oh, it's highlighting this kind of sherry yeah. and see how those transfer over. Yeah. And it seems like it is highlighting that that finish is what is saving this bottle for me. Yeah. And I think that is the Amontillado. Yeah. For sure. Just and, so you know, I'm not somebody that goes, I mean, I do enjoy scotch, right? But I'm not somebody that goes out and buys a bunch of Glen Fittage. Matter of fact, yeah. I think somewhere I might have a Glen Fittage 15 that's unopened and I'm just not, I'm not the biggest space side person either yeah if that makes sense but it is fairly approachable and easy drink for sure oh i i have some glenn fittage bottles that i really like they're some of the more random ones yeah but they're so good what's that purple one that you have so that's a 15 year solara system that they do okay so it, that's a whole different AKA solar system for those of you who haven't taken a astronomy class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> or who don't know Latin. <laughs> yeah. Heliocentric. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Galileo over here. <laughs> I, I was a flat earther, but I, so I walked to the, tried to find the end of the earth and, but I came around. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Debunked <laughs> right here. We debunked the flat earthers <laughs> with a joke. <laughs> well, I this is an interesting bottle. I would love to hear what people think in the comments yeah. about this because yeah. uh, I think maybe all of us, Ryan, I don't know for sure about you, but Space Side is definitely something we we kind of end up going not away from it, but just we always choose the other options when it comes to scotch. Well, and I think mostly mostly because a lot of the space side options seem to be the safe, like, buttered noodle option. Yeah. Where it's like we're trying not to offend anybody. Yeah. And once you get into the whole scotch game, it's kind of like I want the, the more interesting bottles that are available, and that's different than the space side yeah. ones. And if typically. you if you have an interesting space side that we should try, you should let us know because – um, this might sound weird and maybe lame, but the best or the most interesting space side I've had is like a 19 year Kirkland space side. Well, mm. I tried to find it and I couldn't couldn't locate it. I wanted to get the Craig Ellicky for you, which is a space side, but they have something with their worm tubs that they do, so it's a lot meatier and heavier. Uh, meat. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it's not meat. smoky or anything like that, but it's definitely meatier yeah. and heavier. And I'm going, I gotta get. Yeah, Austin to try that. I think I'm just I'm like very it. inexperienced yeah. with Space yeah. Side, and it's just a my favor my flavor palette always goes to things that are a little bit heavier, more of the experience. But that's just me. Austin and, likes the large roller coasters. Yeah, take me on a ride, the, baby. Yeah, 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 buckle me up. 
This is this is the mini me. roller coaster. <laughs> Call this me is a the, pig. This is the kid. <laughs> Wait a second. Where this are we going is... with this? <laughs> All right, or... Buffalo Bill. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It wow. puts the lotion on the skin. All right, folks. Lamp shades. This on is a human... this is a bottle to share with people. Introducing the scotch. Uh, I I enjoy it, even though I'm not a huge fan of Space Out. I'm enjoying it. Everyone else agrees. So I, I like it. I think the price is good. I think it's worth picking up. All right. It's shareable for sure. There have it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Like the episode because we're we are we're bringing you. We're always bringing the episodes. Okay, it's for you. Bringing the we, heat. We do it for, for each you. and every one of you. Uh-huh. 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 Uh-huh.